Kentucky fans think they have it now. Johnson three, short, into the arms of Davis. And a superior team all season long was the superior team tonight. And the Kentucky coronation is complete. Champions 2012. Well, Kentucky, the favorite, obviously. I think the danger for the Wildcats is coming out tight. And I think one of the ways you can get loose, and I think Kentucky has to play fast and loose. That's when they're at their best. One of the ways to do that is to double team the post and activate your defense on the weak side. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they sent a double team Robinson's way to try to get going early. The stage is set, and here we go. Kansas wears the blue away uniforms, and Kentucky gets to wear the home whites as the better seed, the number one overall seed of this tournament. Here is Taylor, really at a three tonight, has a main one in the entire tournament, driving in for a two, and gets a generous roll off the rim for an opening basket. Already you see Michael Kidd Gilchrist, as is often the case, defending the opponent's point guard. Because of his versatility, his length, his quickness, John Calipari likes him to likes to put him at the point of attack defensively. Talking about two of the best defensive teams, if not the two best, all year long. And there is block number one for Whitney. Well, three more of these, and according to Kenny Smith, Kansas is going to win. <laughs> he said Whitney needs four, and I think there's no doubt his defensive presence in the middle is the key to this team and what they've done to get this far. Just seven on the shot clock. He had seven blocks. Saturday. It's an air ball. Whitney chases it down. The seven blocks by Whitney, an NCAA national semifinal game record. And he had 10 blocks in an early tournament win against NC State. Relifer gets the baseline and missed a short shot. Made a beautiful move, couldn't finish. Davis got over there to bother him again. And this is where Kentucky is lethal. Hard foul by Jeff Whitney. And a tough ball oh, for Michael shit. Kidd Gilchrist. And you can hear pain and frustration. And clutching his right shoulder. Teammates come over to pull him back. And John Calipari is asking the officials if they're going to take a look at a potential flagrant one. I think it was Elijah Johnson. It was Steve. Boy, he who got him. Slump shouldered here. His kid Gilchrist. I think as he was going up to try to get that layup, he got his shoulder wrenched, got it pulled back there, Jim. I thought it was a clean attempt by Elijah Johnson to get to the ball, and it was an awkward spill. I think it's just a common foul. And glad to see that Michael Kidd Gilchrist is up and seems to be okay. Yeah, just steps up and rips the nets with his first free throw. Vern Harris, Mark Whitehead, and Mike Stewart with the honor of officiating the national championship game. Second one way off. And Robinson clears it for Kansas. We'll have to keep an eye on Gilchrist. He's clearly favoring that arm. You can see right there as he defends Taylor. Terrence Jones starts out on Thomas Robinson. That's a little deep to allow him to catch it. Put back. They say tie up, and it's going to Kentucky. So before the basket, they said held ball long enough. Deep post position here for Robinson. Denial by Terrence Jones. We talk about the ability of Anthony Davis to deny shots, and he's the nation's best. But Terrence Jones is an excellent shot blocker as well. And Robinson's going to accept some shot blocks. There's going to be some offensive rebounding possibilities if he goes down there anyway. And that shot drops for Jones. Beautiful move in there, Jimmy. Went to his right hand and got it up and down. Johnson with a three, and that's perfect. You know, guys, last week against North Carolina, I thought Kansas came out the loosest they have all tournament. You think about the Jayhawk program, the burden they have on their shoulders, all the NCAA tournament losses early on, Northern Iowa, Bucknell, Bradley, last year VCU. I think they relish the role of, for once, being the underdog here tonight. It's nice to have the script flipped. 
<laughs> That's for sure. Davis will take his first oh, shot and it goes out. And you heard Bill Self at uh, that moment in the locker room saying, hey, all the pressure's on them. And we haven't even played our best game in the tournament yet. Robinson no. off on the jumper. Pulled down by Davis. Kentucky sprinting ahead. Teague. No one cuts him off. He takes it all the way to the hole. Young fella. He has been superb all tournament long, picking his spots as to when to go and when to hold it. Excellent job using that strength to get all the way to the rim, rack to rack. He did that the first two possessions of the Louisville game on Saturday, but didn't score in the second half. Rather than too high with that. And that's reaching in on Robinson. And that's a bad foul. I mean, he had no chance at that rebound. We saw that the other night against Ohio State. He picked up that cheap one early on. I think Robinson has a tendency to be so excited that he has to settle himself down. But that's big because Kansas very thin on that front line. I agree, and sometimes you have to idle yourself down just a notch. There's a real fine line between being fully engaged, emotional, and intent, and not going too far with that. That is Teague hitting the jumper. So he scores on a coast-to-coast -coast layup and then shows an outside game. Don't forget Robinson also fouled out only two games this year, but one of them was that matchup against Kentucky back in November. With him. They leave Malone and go inside, and there is Robinson. Pass to the wing, and Lamb with the play. No. Tapped out. Davis. Of the side, lost the handle, off the floor. Robinson's there. This time the arrow will go back to Kansas. Good activity here coming up, trying to get this loose ball. And ultimately Kansas will retain possession. Kansas will send Robinson to the bench. As we're moving in on that under 16 timeout, give him a few extra seconds of a breather here. Kevin Young comes in for him, number 40. Jones goes to the bench. Calipari matching up small for small with Young on the floor. He will go with Miller to match up. So very small lineups for both clubs here. And Kid Gilchrist, by the way, been watching him the last couple of trips. He appears to be just fine after that early spill. Taylor floats. And that is denied. Trying to go to Withy. Davis saw it coming. Here is Teague. Kid Gilchrist. Yes, indeed, he's fine. Racing up ahead. It's Taylor. Blocked. That time it's Davis. And Kentucky again. All the way down with Lamb. Two more. Furious pace here as Johnson goes outside. With it. That's Miller who defended. Guys, Kansas has to figure out the tempo with which they need to play. They've got to run, but they have to do so at the right time. This can't be a track meet or they have no chance. They've had to go now. A little more than a minute without Robinson on the floor. Here's Taylor's jump. And it hits the dead spot on the back of the rim, and he hits a jump shot. Over oh, the outstretched arm of Anthony Davis there, Jim. And a slow things up a tad. Actually, both teams a little spent. Usually teams are prepared to go a hard four, four and a half minutes without a break. Lamb hits the two-point shot. Ron Lamb led them in the game against Kansas with 17 points. It was a 10-point victory by the Wildcats in New York. Got to really be ready to block out Kevin Young on the board. We'll get a foul there and a break in the action finally. Foul on Miller. A little block party going on here in New Orleans at the start. Kentucky up four. KU, UK. So much history with these iconic programs. And these coaches, this is a title game rematch. They met four years ago in San Antonio when Calipari was coaching Memphis. Self won the title that night as they came back from nine down to Jayhawks with 2-11 to play, won in an overtime. And they both have uh, 
so many ties together. You had a pal with Perry going back to Coach Owens, kind of getting his start as a volunteer at Kansas. And then after graduation at Oklahoma State, Bill Self got invited to be an assistant coach for Larry Brown. Larry Brown, a strong connection between both of these men. Exactly, Jim. And you talk about... Yeah, this is, you know, that this program, obviously Coach Rupp built a base that many of us could win national titles, Tubby being one. And to be in this job, unless you're in it, you don't know what this job is. You have to have been Coach Hall. You, you've had to be in it. Tubby was in it. Final Fours, national championship. Um, and all I would say is, as he's winding it down, he deserved this recognition, you know, that what he did here um, was nothing short of amazing. Anywhere I've been where I mentioned Tubby Smith, he gets an ovation. I told him that. I don't think, like Coach Hall didn't realize how popular he was. And I'd say the same with Tubby. You know, Tubby left, the majority of the people love Tubby. Love him today. And any time. He won 27 games a year. Like, what? Oh, yeah. Won league championship, league tournament, final fours, national championship. As usual here, maybe not quite enough for some, and those are the loud, but he needed to know what people here think of him. Yeah, this is, you know, that this program, obviously Coach Rupp built a base that many of us could win national titles, Tubby being one. And to be in this job, unless you're in it, you don't know what this job is. You have to have been Coach Hall. You, you've had to be in it. Tubby was in it. Final Fours, national championship. Um, and all I would say is, as he's winding it down, he deserved this recognition, you know, that what he did here um, was nothing short of amazing. Anywhere I've been where I mentioned Tubby Smith, he gets an ovation. I told him that. I don't think, like Coach Hall didn't realize how popular he was. And I'd say the same with Tubby. You know, Tubby left, the majority of the people love Tubby. Love him today. And any time. He won 27 games a year. Like, what? Oh, yeah. Won league championship, league tournament, final fours, national championship. As usual here, maybe not quite enough for some, and those are the loud, but he needed to know what people here think of him. Yeah, this is, you know, that this program, obviously Coach Rupp, build a base that many of us could win national titles, Tubby being one.